Yesterday, after dropping my Quest 3 review, you guys made me realize that I hadn't talked about consuming media with Quest 3. So today we're going to be talking about and taking a look at big screen VR, Netflix VR, YouTube VR and virtual desktop and what they're like to basically watch either 3D movies or just simply movies or hang out with people in Quest 3. So first of all, we have Netflix and I'm going to start with this one because it's probably the most basic one out of them all. You're sat in a front room, you've got a nice fireplace and a big screen in front of you and that's about it really. Uh, the clarity of the screen is good. I wouldn't say it's the best as you're going to find out some of the others are very good. But I kind of felt like now I've signed into my Netflix app that when I'm away from home, I might actually use this to watch some stuff. One thing I did really like is the environmental colors. Basically, as soon as you start watching the show, the room goes dark and then all the colors uh, affect the environment like a massive screen would do. And that was very cool. Next up is the YouTube VR app. And this one I really haven't used for a very long time, but I found this even better than Netflix because one, you can move the screen all around, make it bigger and smaller. The quality is actually pretty good. And there's all sorts of 360 content out there. I honestly did not really realize how much content is out there in 360 and it was really good fun to be checking these videos out it's really quite cool to be able to move the screen around wherever you want it and make it bigger or smaller so yeah youtube vr app was surprisingly good next up we have big screen and i think this one's my personal favorite I'm a massive fan of 3D content. I have tons of 3D Blu-rays. I was really gutted when I found out that PlayStation VR 2 isn't supporting 3D Blu-ray. I thought that was going to be a really cool feature of the headset. I used to like it on PSVR, but obviously the resolution wasn't there. As now with PSVR 2, potentially, we can have a good image. But unfortunately, that's just not happened. So jumping into big screen... There is, you can host your own rooms, you can join a 3D movie trailer cinema screen, which is really cool. You just sit there watching 3D trailers in a massive cinema with people, and there's no crosstalk. The 3D quality is actually really good. And then you can jump into people hosting their own rooms. I sat down and watched Elite Battle Angel with 15 other people. That was pretty cool. I then went into another room, which was on a on a rooftop and they were playing Gears of War 5 and the clarity of this huge screen was fantastic. It was so good in this headset. I, I can genuinely see people wanting to use this a hell of a lot more. And then we went to an outdoor screening and simply people are just chatting or they're drawing in VR while this movie's on. It's a very cool experience. I definitely definitely recommend big screen then we have skybox vr which you can use uh directly just on the quest or with your pc i was using it to stream uh content from my pc to the headset this is the one where you can make the screen absolutely massive but you do lose some quality you can also fish eye your videos to make them look like a 180 image that was pretty cool but outside of this i think virtual desktop is going to be the better one and i'll explain why and then lastly was probably the one i'm going to use the most would be virtual desktop streaming content over Wi-Fi 6 to Quest 3 is so, so crisp. And you can change the environment. So I set on my own personal cinema screen. You can also have a massive cinema screen. Um, but sitting in that little cinema on my own, watching my current favorite documentary called First Person Shooter, was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. And then on top of that, you can put it in pass-through. So you can basically move the screen wherever you want, make it pretty much as big as you want. I don't think you'd want it any bigger because it was like up there to my face. You can just put that anywhere and you could carry on working if you wanted to. It was really good and I hope you guys check it out. So that's it. I just wanted to let you know about these apps. If you've got any applications you'd like me to know about because I haven't mentioned them today, let me know down in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.